Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 23 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. So in this one, we can see we have very long conducting surgical object. So keyword conducting, that tells us the charge is distributed at the surface, right? The charge density is fine, just at the surface. And then um, we know at the surface, the electric potential is V0. So we write it as there, V0. Now we need to de determine the potentials at different locations. Like, first part is larger than R0 at there, and then it's inside. As we learned in this chapter, if we want to find the potential, normally the first step is find the electric field dense, right? Can you determine the electric field dense in this object outside and inside. Yes, we can draw the Gaussian surface, right? If we draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one. You can see the electric field dense times the Gaussian surface because the electric field dense just radically outward. So we just consider the surface, this surface, right? Not the cross-sectional areas. Just uh, 2 pi r times L equals enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. So we can write the electric field dense in this function. Next step is to find the electric enclosed charge. So in this case, enclosed charge is just the charge at the surface, right? So use the charge density times its surface, 2 pi r naught times L. Then we input this Q enclosed inside. We can see 2 pi. 2 pi cancelled, L, L cancelled, so we get a function for E outside. Next one, if we need to look at the electric field inside, so we can still draw a Gaussian surface inside. If it is inside, we can say enclosed charge is zero, so make the electric field dense zero. Agree? Yes. So next step, we look at the function we learned in our test book, this one, right? And it tells us Mm, the reference point we can consider as R equal to R0 because it tells us at the surface the potential equal to V0. Agree? So that means in this case, we consider A as the R0. Agree? Yes. And then we can see the electric field is for outside, inside is given. So first the case, R is larger than R0. So we write R at zero. Now, if we want to do the integral from the R0 to R, so integral this way, right? R0 to R. And then we know it should E is outward. And the DL just this way, DL, right? So in this way, we do this integral, just the input is E and uh, replace DL as DR. Then we do this integral, we get function, look like this one. At the R, at the R equal to R0, the potential equal to V0, so we write it at zero. So just uh, from this function, we replace it, right? And then finally, we get the V equal to this function. The next one is uh, R is smaller than R0. As we talk about, this is a conducting object, right? And it tells us the surface potential is V0. So that means at everywhere inside or at the surface of this object, its potential equals. So that means the potential for this object, R, R is smaller than R0, just equal to V0. Right? Yes. The third one we can see, ask you, is V equal to zero at the R equal to the infinity? Do you think this is true if R equal to infinity? So we look at the function. R equal to the infinity, so that means R must be larger than R naught, right? So we look at this function. Ask if this R equal to infinity. Will this V equal to zero? No, right? It will become negative infinity. Thank you.